From protests to political favoritism, President Obama's picks for U.S. ambassadors has stirred controversy this summer. We asked national correspondent Christine Frizzell to examine the longtime proactive of a practice of appointing political friends. It's a time-honored tradition, dating back at least to the days of FDR. New ambassador to Britain, Mr. Joseph Kennedy. And his appointment of a high-level position to a high-level friend, Joseph Kennedy. According to the American Foreign Service Association, even the last four presidents have appointed about a third of ambassadorships as political favors. It's a trend Bill Allison with the Sunlight Foundation says is just unfair. Here are these people, they're being, they're, you know, living on taxpayer expense. They're being given these wonderful plum assignments that, uh, you know, ordinary Americans don't get. Even people who devote their lives to the Foreign Service don't get the opportunity to do kinds of postings or positions. It has also at times been disastrous, as in the case of Cynthia Stroom, who bundled more than a half a million dollars for President Obama's 2008 campaign. She was appointed as the ambassador to Luxembourg and later quit. A State Department inspection revealed employees described her as aggressive, bullying, hostile, and intimidating. But the fact that the practice still goes on as often as it does illustrates that few people see it as a problem. There are those who see the ability to fundraise and have leadership skills as an asset. Ambassador G. Philip Hughes says one of the best qualifications is access, as in a direct line to the president. To get something done, to cut through an often impenetrable government bureaucracy. That's a valuable asset, not only to the ambassador, but frankly to the leader of the country where he's accredited. Still, in representing the United States all around the world, Allison says the question becomes the role of the ambassador himself, not his staffers, nor his fundraising skills. The potential of having somebody as an ambassador who doesn't pick up on signals that are important that the president needs to know about means that we could be blindsided by something. And that's just something that, you know, no country can afford in this type of world. Reporting in Washington, I'm Christine Frizzell.